Hello Leos, this is your reading for the 21st or the 22nd. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. I'm going to pull some energy for you guys, and then we're going to see who is lurking around you energetically with the vice versa tarot, and um, what they want from you, okay? Let's see what's going on with Leo. What's going on with, okay. Temperance. Some of you guys are wanting to reunite with someone, um, wanting to work with somebody, kind of, uh, you know, kind of work out the kinks, I feel, you know, um, to, so you guys can get along better. Maybe so you can reunite, like I said, or this is just some of you just, you know, you just wanting like some balance in your life, some harmony in your life. You're, you're tired of like bucking against the universe and it's like, you know what, I'm just going to let it go, let it flow, and it is what it is. Okay, let's see what else we've got for you guys here. The star, definitely I feel you guys, um, there's somebody that you feel like is the one, okay? Um, lots of healing going on, and I feel like this is going on between the two of you. This energy is like, you know, it's guiding you guys, I feel, okay? Definitely a cycle wrapping up. You guys have completed something. Congratulations. Because these are beautiful cards here. Okay. Um, and I'm getting that, you know, in wrapping up this karmic cycle that you guys have been through that was very tumultuous, I feel. Um, you're, bringing, you're bringing something good into your life. And I'm feeling like both of you guys probably are vibrating on a high level at this point, okay? Um, may not be with this person, um, but I'm definitely getting, look at that flipping out, um, the judgment card here. I'm getting that there is a decision that you guys have made that you do, do want to reunite, okay? Possibly um, another fire sign like yourself, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Scorpio energy is here, Aquarius, Sagittarius is here, um, Taurus, I feel, is here as well. Let's see. What's the other fixed sign? Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius, yeah. Okay. Then we have a seven of cups. Hmm. There's still a lot that you don't know. Um, there's a lot that I feel like you guys are trying to work out. Um, because maybe you've been flooded with these feelings that you didn't feel so strongly before. And it's like, what do I do? Is what I'm getting from you. How do I approach this? How do I approach this person even here? And I'm feeling like this page of wands is um, probably you guys because it's like you, you've had this these newfound feelings. You probably always felt a certain way about this person or this person always felt a certain way about you. But I don't feel like it was clear. Okay, now I feel like it's clear how you guys feel about each other, but something happened here to where um, you don't really know how to approach it. I'm getting that you definitely know what you want. You just don't really know how to approach this subject, okay? Hmm. Let's see what the Seven of Cups is about. What is the confusion about here? What is the confusion about here for Leo? What is the confusion about this Ten of Pentacles? That's all about, you know, building your legacy, um, establishing a committed relationship that will endure. You guys are not sure how to make this happen, or somebody is not sure how to make this happen with you because this energy can go vice versa. But I'm getting strongly that there is there are mutual feelings here okay of loving and feeling like this is your destiny I, I'm, I'm feeling you guys are sharing this energy between the two of you definitely okay so let's see who's coming towards you guys here who's coming towards Leo 
Who's coming towards Leo energetically? Who's coming towards Leo? Who's coming towards Leo? Wow, look at this. The lovers. The lovers. Somebody that makes you happy. Somebody that's meant to be. This, this person, you guys have like this undeniable connection. You guys are the yin and the yang, okay? You fit together like a hand and glove. Whoever this individual is. Leo, not Leo, but um, Gemini energy there. Definitely, this person makes you happy. Um, wow, this is very strong. Very strong here. Oh, wow. This is your partner. This is the Four of Wands. We're the Four of Wands and the Lover. This is possibly um, somebody that you guys feel like um, you would like to be married to or once upon a time you guys are in a very strong committed relationship here. Um, something happened, I feel, that um, probably, you know, it, it, not probably because judgment's here. This is bringing something back. This is like rising from the ashes here. So something was dead, something was gone. Um, but this is deciding to, to bring something back here, okay? So I'm getting that this is a very strong relationship between the two of you guys. Or either this is something that you are wanting to happen or this person is wanting to happen. I'm feeling strongly this is something that is shared between the both of you. But this is your person. For those of you who this is strongly resonating for, this is your person, okay? Gemini, Aries, energy, right here. Okay. Wow. All right. Somebody you're very attracted to. Um, you see stability with. You see this person as um, your ride or die for life. Okay. What do they want with Leo? What does this person want with Leo? Hmm. Right now, for some reason, they're choosing to um, turn their back on this. They have the temperance in reverse. Okay. They're not trying to face any fears. They're not trying to um, balance out anything. I'm feeling like, you know, they they turned their back on this situation currently. Okay. They're just letting it be. Like they don't have... Um, what is the word? They, they don't really have any... God dang it. They don't have any faith in this situation that it can work out. For some reason, okay? And only you guys know why. Let's see what else. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. This person's just basically looking after themselves. Um, and I, I'm thinking that they, they're they just wanting balance and harmony within their own life right now. Okay, That is what they're doing. Not saying that they don't want it with you. They just really don't have the faith that you know things are going to turn around here. So maybe they have given up on the situation. Okay, So we have Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aries, Gemini. Um, and I think I... I told you guys about the signs over here and then Virgo's here as well, okay? But um, this is definitely your person. I feel like, and then I'm looking at this card on top, this is justice, okay? There is a need for you guys. I'm feeling you feel the need to make things right in this situation. And I'm putting that right by the Four of Wands and the Lovers there. Whatever that means for you. And I, I'm feeling strong um, marriage for a lot of you. Okay. Could be just a very strong commitment. But I, I'm definitely feeling strong marriage for a lot of you guys. Okay. So that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.